Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Let the Rapini Banger a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Well, Emmanuel Odiasse, the German born Nigerian heavyweight monster knocked out Kelvin Masirika it was an interesting combinations from Imanada said that dropped Kelvin Masirika and eventually stopped him Masirika was basically up as a prospect same as um, Imanada said but you have to understand him and said the way he fights he doesn't fight to knock you out he fights to win and that's a dangerous combination him being for the no now with three knockouts of course people want to see knockouts of course um heavyweights are known to be knockout artists all they are saying is six six is if not six seven um he told he, he got into boxing a little bit late but he's sparred with the top dogs in the division we are talking about the likes of Deontay Wilder he was in Wilder's camp he was in Joshua's camp he was in uh, um, Uzi camp he also sparred with um, um, Daniel Dubois so for someone that didn't have um, a, a, a long amateur career basically a very short amateur career that he had like i think six amateur fights that he had he has officially because of course he had he fought some amateur fights that wasn't recorded but officially six amateur fights you will think how is emmanuel say in in against this top dog that's because of how he is the way he fights and how good he is like the guy does everything so natural you don't expect it from someone that didn't have a lot of amateur fight you know and one thing that impressed me the most is that he doesn't fight to go knock you out he fights to win and look good while doing it so this fight right here was very interesting uh you can tell him on the jab is very powerful um he was basically at boxing having masarika making him miss making sure okay masarika didn't come close we have a star in our hand right now i mean of course joshua is on his way out joshua still have like five years three years to go before joshua calls it a day or is a very very young uh young chap and believe you me he's got the tools to be one of the best in the vision but he does need to build his resume like beat it up step by step not rushing to fight he's got the best management right now 25 mgt joshua boxing management um and he fights on different um uh, events march room you know also fights on german events as well as the salon i think the salon the uh, hosted an event in germany recently i don't know i i, I didn't want i also the one in hamburg the uh, other say fought uh um, fought against so much uh, um, in uh, in last. I don't know. I have to check again, but I don't know who was at that event. But I know the Salon brothers um, are top German boxing uh, promotional dog. Um, and um, I don't know if they still host a lot of big events in Germany anymore like they used to. But they used to be basically active in in the German boxing scene. Odiasse fights in every and most events. And I would love to see Odiasse at Wembley. Of course, um, to be on that card, they would probably give him um, a harder fight. I don't think it's necessary now. Odiasse is still building, building and building. I think he's ready for anybody. At 4 and 0, oh, I think he's ready for like a top, a top 50 guy. I think he's ready for a top 50 fighter. I think he's that good. I think it's that good but he has to be managed properly you know what i'm impressed with by audio says that his jab is sharp 
he, he throws a jab like crazy very accurate very smooth doesn't force anything doesn't overdo anything and he knocks you out with punches that you don't really expect you know like you don't see it coming even if you see it coming you don't know how to defend it he might not be the most powerful guy but he's got he's got some crack in him that means if you if you snooze you lose or just say he's that guy and i'm i'm very very optimistic about um his future i'm very very excited as well um and he's training with uh, i think he's training with uh, joshua's first uh, trainer yeah so basically he's been groomed to be the next big thing and he's also walking that path you know very intelligent as well young young but intelligent and knows how to do the things right you know i, I think i would love to have him back on the channel because i he was on the channel i would i would i would try to have him back on the channel just to talk about his progression so far because the last time he he was on here uh he was still an amateur you know and he was different than an amateur and now he is he has four professional for about on his record um it would be nice to have him back and um but yes, uh, I tell you right now, he's that guy that has got, you know, the tools to do real damage. The every division right now is exciting. I'm sure Tokyo Lashik is watching. And but Odessa should not be rushed yet. He got a whole a whole a long road ahead of him. You know, bro. The way I'm seeing this thing right now, I think I was I was saying to myself maybe with Nigeria Nigeria has lost it um, with an Joshua because Joshua is actually the biggest name woman abroad you know um, cause is regarded as British but we know they represent both Nigeria and Britain. Um, Odiasa is on the on the list as well. We have Rafak Pajuri. That one is still coming back in 28th of June this month. Another another monster fight. But Jerry is repeating himself back up. And uh, yeah, we have um, Ajagba as well. Not active the way the way he should be. Ajagba should be on this Saudi card. Ajagba is a sighting fighter. You know, just one of those things you have to see. Um, but I understand that boxers need some time off after fighting. But if you are in Ajagba's position and the age is not getting younger, bro. You have to take fights, but fights that make sense. You know, not any other fight. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out, though. Like if you should subscribe. What do you make of Manodias' performance against Kelvin Masarika? A devastating stoppage. Or the other, kudos to him. And nice to have that win. And then move on to the next one. You know, uh, a four-rounder, basically. And then you build up, you build up little, little by little, eight rounder, ten rounder, you know, and then eight on me one, twelve round. That'll be interesting. Stay blessed, guys. God bless you all, and uh, make sure to support Odiase. Go follow him on Instagram um, at Old Emmanuel Odiase. Um, very very interesting guy. Stay right now. The future, I call him that. Stay tuned, guys. God bless you all.